Howdy. Week one, we introduced ourselves and declared a subtopic of environmental science that we were most interested in learning more about. I chose agriculture, as it is one of my true passions. Therefore, today my infographic will address our nation's dependency on fossil fuels for industrial agriculture. As you can see, the infographic shows that 400 gallons of oil are utilized each year in order to feed a single person in North America. This is due to the fact that it is required for so many aspects of industrial agriculture, including the manufacturing of inorganic fertilizer, operation of machinery, transportation of goods, irrigation, raising of livestock, crop drying, pesticide production, and much more. Agriculture is generally associated with greenhouse gas emissions in regards to environmental impact. However, throughout this course, I have learned that agriculture is also taking a huge toll on fossil fuel sustainability following the industrialization of the field. My stance on this issue is that steps must be taken in order to conserve fossil fuels and practice sustainable agriculture. I believe that in order to do so, America must utilize localized agriculture as a buffer. The term local food system describes a method of food production and distribution that is geographically localized rather than national and or international. Food is grown and harvested close to consumers' homes, then distributed over much shorter distances than in the conventional global industrial food system. In general, local food systems are associated with sustainable agriculture. Conventional food typically travels from 1,500 to 3,000 miles to reach the consumer and usually requires additional packaging and refrigeration. Many small-scale local farms attempt to ameliorate the environmental damage done via industrial farming by focusing on sustainable practices such as minimized pesticide use, no-till agriculture and composting, minimized transport to consumers, and minimal to no packaging for their farm products. After participating in BESC 201 599, I strongly believe this to be true and hope that I may become an advocate for long-term sustainability in local food systems, thus reducing the 400 gallons of oil used per person annually.